What do you need to see? A beautiful lake. Yeah. It looks like the island, but uh, on the mountain. Is there anything that you think like, oh, people have to know this before they come here? Hey champs, what's happening? Welcome to another episode of Tag Along With Chai. In this episode, we're finding out how long you need to stay in this beautiful province and which places do you need to visit when you do so. We're not doing this according to TripAdvisor. We're not going to Google the top 10 things to visit in the province of Chiang Mai. No, we're going to find some interesting people in the old city center and we're going to ask them how long do we need to stay here in this beautiful province and what do we need to see. It's going to be an interesting one. I started this episode already a few days ago when it was the Sunday market, but the footage got lost or some of the footage got lost. We had some technical issues. Let's start at the Sunday night market. Talk to one gentleman that was giving us some good tips. After showing you the gentleman that we spoke to a few days ago, we're gonna crack on today to find some people, ask them the questions, and at the end of each little interview, we're also gonna ask them if they have some wisdom to pass on or message to the world. I hope you're excited. Let's go. How long does, does an average tourist you think needs to visit Chiang Mai as a province? Ooh, that's a tough question. Um, I think you need at least a week in the city. Uh, and to explore the rest of the province, you'd really need a month, I guess. Yeah. Uh, uh, and that's kind of really short time. It wouldn't yeah. fit in everything. It's a big province. Yeah, yeah. this is a huge province and so many national parks. And exactly, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So which are the, because I've been Googling and then there's a top 10 uh, coming up, but mm -hmm. which, which one do you think, like, l let's say the top two or three things to do in Chiang Mai? What do you need to see? In Chiang Mai, uh, you need to eat in a riverside restaurant. Yeah. Uh, check out the walking street, of course, uh, and uh, I'm a jazzer, so I'd say check out the jazz clubs. We ah. have about half a dozen jazz clubs in Chiang Mai, really cool places. I've, so. I've heard, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. cool. which, which jazz club is your favorite or which? Uh... Uh, I think Tape East is probably okay. uh, just about the best, okay. but they're all good. Yeah, uh, yeah. In the next coming episode, we're going to visit uh, some places that we are finding uh, from the people that are okay. I'm, I'm talking well, to. Okay, well, so. Do check out Tape East. Yeah, yeah. okay, you're gonna do that. Um, <laughs> to the world, some wisdom to pass on? Um, please come and visit us here in Chiang Mai. We've been suffering for two yeah. and a half years from COVID and uh, everybody needs a business. <laughs> it's a beautiful place to be and now is a great time to come. Yeah? Thank you so much, Ron. Thank okay. you for your time. Okay, right. thank you, sir. Bye. Bye. That evening, we also spoke to a German guy. He told us that he rented a tuk-tuk for three days, did a small training before he left the shop and then he went up to Door Intenon with his mates. And this is also possible here in Chiang Mai. I put a link in the description, obviously, if you want to do this yourself. I want to do this myself as well. So I'm going to show you probably in the next few weeks how this is like. Anyway, let's crack on today to find out how long you need to stay in Chiang Mai for and what do you actually need to see. I'm making an episode. How long do people have to visit this province, Chiang Mai? Mm. And what do they need to see? Okay. So the top 10 uh, you can Google. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe you've done that, but mm -hmm. have you uh, have you have any idea like what you're going to visit here? Oh, I mean, I've seen like 100 temples. Yeah. <laughs> okay. um, I'm trekking tomorrow, like yeah. a two night trek. Oh, where, where are you going? I don't even know. Oh. <laughs> They're just taking me. I don't are, know. Are you it's doing this here. through a company? Yeah. Uh, online or? Did you... uh, I w went into a tourist office. Oh, okay. Here. Yeah. Yeah. How long is your stay going to be in total in Thailand? In Thailand, two months. Oh, sweet. Yeah. And how long are you going to be uh, taking for Chiang Mai? A month. -ish. A whole month. I mean, in I'll probably like do you know little side trips, but. What do you like the most so far? Um, I just think it's like really beautiful. Everybody's super friendly. Yeah. It's chill. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is there anything that you think like oh people have to know this before they come here? Mm, not really, no. I mean, cash, you need cash you everywhere. Need cash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What, well, how, how's the easiest way to get cash then? ATM. Yeah. Yeah. You have to pay fees, eh? I don't. My bank doesn't. Oh, lucky you. Well, <laughs> no, but they charge here like 220 baht, I think. They refund my fees. Oh my god, you're lucky. Which <laughs> bank is that? Uh, Charles Schwab. <laughs> Charles Schwab? <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna have to look, look into that. Only for American, maybe. I yeah, don't know. I, I don't know about outside of the US. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, thanks for your time. Do you have a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on? I have no, no, I have nothing. Nothing? No. Okay. How long do we need to stay in Chiang Mai, in the province Chiang Mai, to actually experience it in a good way? Like to actually soak the Chiang Mai vibe? Yeah, um, for me, like if you are to have a short holiday, you mm -hmm. can spending time in Chiang Mai for um, three, three days yeah. or a week. 
yeah. and then uh, you can rent a bicycle um, see around old town of Chiang Mai because uh, ah. they have an old temple yeah. and then still have a local living in old town Ah, okay. Yeah. And how about the outside of the city? Like they have Toy Intanon, for example. There's mm. many national parks. What do you think? Uh, where should I go? Um, because I thought like, uh, for me, I interesting hot and Doi Tao. You can took, um, take a bus, like local bus for three hours from the center to Doi Tao. Oh, yeah. Doi Tao? Yeah, Doi Tao is quite beautiful lake. Yeah. It look like the island, but the uh, on the mountain. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> so this, this is what I uh, I miss a little bit in the north. Yeah. I uh, yeah the beach or the island like I feel really nice here. It's really calm. So I gonna have to check that uh, mountain out. Yeah. yeah. Dai Tao is very nice. Not um, not too many people for the landscape when you arrive to Dai Tao. Look like Scandinavian country. Oh wow. Yeah yeah. Is not, it cooler? Not, yeah cooler and then not many building or the mountain. Yeah don't have um, layers, I, I don't know what to say in English, like uh -huh. building or houses. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 okay. How do we get there? Yeah. You can take a bus, Yeah. T uh, take a bus from the center to take three hours. Okay, so yeah. uh, do I need to book it at a tour no, organization? No, 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 you, you just go to um, Chiang Mai, Chiang Mai Gage. Not the terminal, just like bus stop oh. in front of Mm, Chiang Mai Market, oh, Chiang Mai Gage Market, you know that, you know that gauge, right? Oh, Chiang okay. Mai Gage. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. can ask the people there and then... Oh, okay, we're going to put a link down in the description so we can actually find the bus stop. Mm -hmm. That's amazing, thanks for the tip there. Do you have a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on? Enjoy every moment, <laughs> yeah. enjoy every moment and then um, welcome to Chiang Mai. <laughs> welcome to Chiang Mai, okay. thank you so much, thanks a lot. Welcome. Hi, nice. Satya told us that there is a different and easier way to go to Doi Tao. We're not too sure yet what that is. We maybe have to go to a bus station or some kind, but I put a link down of the bus stop already for you if you're really keen to go already. If you want to see the trip and we're going to visit it, so you're more than welcome to join this trip and subscribe to the channel. Give us a few weeks. In the main well, there will be three uploads a week about Thailand, about the people that are in Thailand right now. Uh, also a bit of culture, but mainly we're talking to random people on the street. We keep doing these street interviews to find some more hidden treasures of Chiang Mai, of the province of Chiang Mai. It just started raining now, I'm gonna have to finish this episode. Thank you for watching till the very end. At the moment as well, if you want to keep us going, we're doing free uploads a week, all Thailand related. We're gonna do another year at least, but if you want to keep us going for much longer, please consider to join the channel, be a member. Uh, you contribute a little bit financially. <laughs> it started raining really badly at the moment. Anyway, uh, my gimbal is getting wet and that's not so good for the, for the gimbal. Thank you for watching anyway until the very end. I love yous. I would like to say from a rainy Chiang Mai in the province of Chiang Mai, one of my favorite provinces in Thailand. Bye for now and stay champ.